Everybody wants to be good at something without practicing. You know, they just want to be able to step out there and say, okay, let's go. Why am I not as good as the guys that have been shooting for 40 years? And uh, the answer is patience. My name is James Satir, and I'm a science teacher at Riverside Indian School in Anadarko, Oklahoma. I'm the science chair, but I also teach uh, biology and chemistry. Johnson O'Malley program is a federal program that helps support the education of Indian children. And right now, I help them with the summer camp, so I wear several hats. And then, of course, the most important job that I have is, is dad. Uh, my oldest, I have a daughter that's 14 years old. Her name is Isabel Satir. Never gets in trouble. Straight A student. My son, Ferris, is uh, nine. He has a, a lot bigger personality than his sister. We try to fish a little bit whenever we can, and you know, some days are good and some days aren't. Uh, but uh, it's always good to get out and uh, to be together. In the summertime, we like going out and doing these competitions. The big reason why I participate in the games is for my kids, it is because I want them to be able to make a connection with their culture. These games are tied to actual functions in a village. Cornstalk was, is a war game. Uh, tomahawk throw is the same thing. You have to be able to hit something, you know, that may be beyond your reach. Uh, the bolt gun was used for a small game, squirrel and rabbit, I mean, survival. Chunky is a, is a spear game. It is, it is the oldest game that we play. It's fun, it's competitive, but I'm hoping that uh, it sparks the curiosity of my kids to be able to delve a little deeper. Isabel has expressed interest in learning the language. You know, hopefully Ferris will follow along and, and try to do some of the same things. I just want them to be curious and to be able to ask questions and to be able to, to, to know where they're from. We've been going to the games probably the last four years. Pretty, pretty solid. First, it was by myself, and then brought the kids with me, and it's a, it's an opportunity for us to do some things together. Now, of course, they were better at it than me. You know, that's usually the way it works. You know, I was able to teach them the basics, and uh, they were able to go out and have some success. Isabel was involved with archery in schools, and she was uh, an actually uh, a state champion as a sixth grader. So she did very well in the archery part of it. Isabel's been able to win the, the, the Cherokee National Holiday Tournament a couple times, and Ferris has won it a couple times in archery and blowgun, and uh, Isabel won it in blowgun whenever she was uh, a child, and now she's old enough where she has to compete with the women, uh, but uh, she's still good from the basics that we were able to teach her. Uh, Ferris is, uh, the last couple of years, he's kind of come into his own. He was runner up at Cherokee Holiday last year and everything. So he was second in Cornstalk, he was second in Blowgun, he was second in Chunky. 46. Yes. Ferris. Blowgun wise, he hadn't been beaten in a while. You can't stand like this, you're out of, not out of, you're out of line. Okay, so you need to square up, twist at the hips. Don't, don't twist your legs like this. All right, just twist at the hips. Move your head, boom. Okay. <laughs> During the community game season, we usually practice maybe about once a week. And it's right here in our front yard in Chickasha. So we live, we live here in the middle of town and uh, don't have a whole lot of space, but we make it work. Hey, don't blow out the side of your mouth. Turn your neck. <laughs> right in the middle. There you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you beat your old man. That ain't, that's not funny. <laughs> it kind of is. As a single dad of uh, Isabel and Ferris, I'm hoping that uh, one of the lessons that they learn coming out of uh, doing these games and is to deal with some adversity. Um, you know, things change, and you have to go on. You, you can't you can't dwell on the past. You know, you don't hit a bullseye every time. You know, you have to be able to reset yourself and take your next shot. Right there, hey, 
that's getting a lot easier, okay? Now you need to step back a little bit more because it still hit right on the bottom of the handle. Okay. It was almost rotated back. So if you take another half step back, you ought to be right on it. For the Native Games this year, all three of us are qualified already for finals in August. And hopefully we'll be able to make that a fun experience instead of a lesson learned. Isabella Ferris, congratulations on your game. We just got second in the final round of marbles. Second place is Isabel. Mary, first, 41. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, I've gotten pretty lucky. You know, I've, because I work with kids all the time and I've taught for 26 years. So I've seen all kinds of kids. And uh, like I said, they, I've, I've got good kids, you know, because they're able to observe and they're smart kids and they're able to adapt. You know, there's been people come in and out of their life and they're able to carry on and again, continue to have success in, in whatever they set their mind to. You know, and, and my hope by doing this is not only for them to learn some more about their cultures, but for whenever they have children, to bring them back. I mean, I think that'd be the, one of the best days of my life if you know, my, myself, my daughter, and my son, and my grandkids could all shoot the same contest. I, that would be amazing. Just to, just to know that, uh, that I've done something that's gonna stick with them. Let's keep it alive. Let's, 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 uh, let's survive past tomorrow. <laughs>